Cooperstown those license five six years all the young talent they have so he's really impressed with what Cooper's done the first two years here with Lightning. Joe Smith, Tampa Bay Times. He's gonna head up to Detroit. You gonna show me? You gonna show me your hometown tonight? Don't you? Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and this is my second attempt at this HD radio. I'm using my little zip cam and trying to get a little better picture of the display itself, because the display itself is quite good, um, and this camera is a little better but it's still not really showing you how good the um, display is it um, on the screen that I'm looking at of the camera it looks like I'm getting a uh, kind of a blue background to the display well it's not blue it's jet black so right now that's mainly white lettering on a black background and it's very easy to read I'm tuned right now to a AM HD channel and you can see that uh, it does provide digital data and uh, it's, it's showing the frequency the fact that it's on the HD um, stations can have up to I think like four substations and that's what the HD1 there is showing me that this is um, the substation one of this particular station. Now I don't know if this one has any more than one. Let me just um, try something here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I got it's got a resync. Nope, it appears it only has that one. Sub frequency. Substation, whatever you call it. And um, again, this is AM. Takes a few seconds for it to sync up and then it starts decoding the data. And um, this was a suggestion by one of my subscribers to show the or whatever record the audio um, using an AM station which is usually has talk information on it and I don't have to worry about getting a copyright on music so I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit here address the critical issues you face today oh and like any good interview candidate we'll have some questions for you that may get you thinking about opportunities you haven't considered yet okay so set up an so the audio is quite good. Again, this is an AM station, um, and on an FM station which has music, the the um, audio quality is excellent. And let me see if I can let me hit this display button down here and see if they're sending out any more digital information. Nothing really exciting there. There is something scrolling across the bottom, which is white lettering on gray background it doesn't show up as good and it doesn't show up at all I don't think on my camera let's go back there okay so this particular station is only putting out basically the station information uh, although it's scrolling across here um, what the show is which is a sports show so the other thing I was going to do is I was going to go ahead and do a report card on this radio even though I can't show you the report card because I'm showing you this close up of the radio itself. So it's kind of a trade off either I get the close up or I get uh, a wide angle view which then you couldn't see what's on the display. So anyway. I got over here on the side here, I've got my uh, scorecard. It's typically used for shortwave radios, but I can adjust it uh, mentally 
I'm not sure I can do that, but uh, to apply this radio. So anyway, the first thing I usually look at is the look and feel of the radio. And this radio has a very good look and feel. It's um, fairly heavy, surprisingly, and um, has a nice finish on it. The buttons are easy to read and everything. So look and feel, I would give it an A. The readability, um, I definitely give an A on readability. The the buttons lettering is really easy to read. Of course, this display is really easy to read. Easy to read even at about six feet with my poor eyes. So lots of contrast, very high definition. So I'm going to give that an A. Power options. Um, I thought since it used or needed whatever batteries that it would would operate on the batteries as far as listening to the radio so you could kind of have it be portable although there's a shortcoming about the antennas external antennas are required but it doesn't it only uses apparently only uses the batteries as backup power for the memories and the clock so I'm going to knock it down for power options and I'm going to give it a, yeah, do I give it a B or a C? I'm going to give it a B. You know, this is really a table or nightstand radio, so it's not really touted as a portable radio. There's no handle. So I'm going to just knock it down one um, because, and the reason being, is because it doesn't act, act, it doesn't operate on batteries at all. Um, when you lose power at your house, this radio is not going to be very useful. So anyway, I'm going to give it a B. Tuning, I, I was going to really give it a bad grade on tuning until I realized there was an operator error and that the operator didn't know how to use the tuning button where it turns out uh, this button here, there's actually two buttons there, one's in the picture, one's not. The channel up and down buttons, which I thought were for selecting the memory channels, is for tuning. So that's how you manually tune the radio. So I can't complain about tuning anymore. That is digital only in that you have buttons and you don't have a knob. but Typically, when you're listening to AM and FM especially, you don't do a lot of tweaking and tuning. So, I'm going to give it an A. It, it's, it's got what it needs, plus it has the sync function over here. So, there's nothing wrong with the tuning. That was just an operator error. Audio quality. Audio quality was very good. Very, very good. Uh, these two speakers provide very good audio. I'm going to give it A for audio. Uh, special features. The one special feature that really stands out that I don't use, of course, is the um, capability of having that audio feedback. And let me see if I can turn that on and try it. Show you. Let me go to menu. Uh, let's see. I think it's under settings. Hmm. No. Nope. Not there. Let me go back. Oh, I think this is one of those. You gotta hold a button. Let me uh, let me just digress for a minute. It says to switch these two modes, the normal mode and the accessibility mode, power off the radio. Okay, power off the radio. Press and hold select and turn on, press and hold select and then hold down the power button for three seconds. Okay, so we'll press select, which is up here, and we turn the power button on. Now, it should have the audio feedback. Power hmm. on. There we go. Frequency 6, 2, 
zero a.m. Infected with uh, with what they have at four. Oh, there you go. Uh, how, what situation are they down? Turn the volume down. Now this is interesting. The uh, display, although it doesn't show up on my camera, I don't think, changed from white letters to amber. That's interesting. Yeah, like for instance, if I let me turn the volume back up, and I'm going to change frequency. Tune up. Frequency six three zero a.m. Turn it back down. Tune down. Frequency six two zero a.m. A couple guys, and the next guy, you know, who probably should be worried is Ernesto Freire um, because down. it's particularly well either. He Turn the volume down. down. The, you know, a former closer they were down. hoping would regain his time. Um, let's them, see. You know, a change the source. Source. Frequency one zero two point five FM. Well, okay, it went to source. FM. Auxiliary. And it went to auxiliary. Source. Frequency. Six Frequency. Two zero a.m. So that's pretty cool. Um, down. So as far as a special feature, that's a that's a significant feature for people who have a vision impairment. So just based on that one special feature, I'm going to give it an A. Now, reception is kind of a mixed bag, um, and the reason I say that is because you must have external antennas, which is provided in the package, both AM and FM. If you don't have external antennas hooked up, you probably will not receive anything. You will think the radio is broken. So you've got to hook those up. So with those hooked up, the reception is excellent. I, I went online and looked up all the HD radio stations that are in my area within, I think, I think it's within 50 miles of my zip code, line of sight. And I took this radio and I tuned in, or actually did the seek function, and had it seek stations, and it found every one of them. There's about five uh, AM HD channels and about 15, maybe 20 FM stations, and then a lot of those stations have sub-frequencies. So there's like an HD1, HD2, whatever. So every station in that list, I was to I was able to get loud and clear using the two supplied antennas. Um, one is a little tiny loop antenna; it's about four inches across, and it's got about three feet of lead-in wire. And I just hung that loop up in my office. Again, remember my office has a lot of RF noise in it. And um, the other one is a little short dipole across the top is about mm, three to four feet maybe. And I just laid that up on my desk, um, on, on my uh, bookcase. And that's how I had it set up and it picked up all kinds of local stations. Matter of fact, every local HD station that was listed, it picked it up with no problem. The other thing is, and let me go return to make sure I got down. the volume down. Yeah. Let me go to FM. Source. Frequency one zero two point I five don't, FM. I, thank you. I don't know if it'll show up or not, but right in this corner, right there, is a bar graph of the signal strength. Now, since I moved this radio over to my desk, uh, I'm not getting um, a strong signals. And I don't have, only thing I've got hooked up for, and I'm holding it up right now, I see the, 
the signal got a little stronger. The only thing I got hooked up on the FM antenna connector is um, an alligator clip with about you know, 20 inches of wire. That's all I got. So it's it's still receiving okay, but I'm only getting like two bars out of five. Um, matter of fact, let me clip that onto my HF antenna, outside antenna again, see if that helps. Yeah, that gave me, uh, may able, actually be able to see it now. I'm getting about three bars. When I had it hooked up to the antenna that came with it, and I had it on the other side of the room, I was getting five bars, five out of five bars. So, reception was excellent, so I'm going to give it an A. So, this, this radio gets an A+. Plus. Now, keep in mind, it has a specific use, and that is for listening to HD, AM, and FM radio. Of course, you can listen to non-HD, you know, you can listen to non-HD if you choose. And it does provide all this digital information in a very nice display here. So, yes, I, I, I get, this radio gets an A. It's one of the few radios, and keep in mind, it's different, it's not in the shortwave category, it's an AM, FM, HD radio. So I hope this shows up a little better with this camera. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.